You're watching Chadtronic. Ladies and bricks, my name is Chadtronic, and this might be one of the weirdest videos I've made on the channel, or at least one of the weirdest toy videos. That is, if you even want to call this a toy. Today, we are looking at the Sonic the Hedgehog Limited Edition Toaster, which, by the way, speaking of Sonic, did you guys see the big news yesterday? Sega announced that they're going to make Tanic, Tanic 3, into a real thing. How exciting is that? Tanic is going to be voiced by Ryan Reynolds. I'm very excited to see that movie. Anyway, let's get back on topic. This video is about the Sonic Toaster. This is something that exists. You can buy this. I was one of the early adopters. This first came out. Uh, I think Sega, this is made by Sega, which I don't, how weird is that? Sega makes toasters now. That's a thing. But uh, yeah, I don't, I can't remember. It's not like a GoFundMe. It wasn't like a Kickstarter, but Sega was like, hey, we'll make a Sonic toaster if enough people order it. And uh, they met their order limit. I think I was like one of the last people to order this, but I, I was in the first wave of this being sent out. So I was one of the first early adopters. I've had this for a while, but I kind of wanted to wait um, a little bit. And I think now is the best time, which unrelated, by the way, here's my little chow statue. How cute is that? How cute is that? Sega, give us some more chow. I'm sorry, I briefly apologize. I'm going off topic again. We're looking at the Sonic Toaster. We're going to put it through a series of tests. Uh, we're going to make some Pop-Tarts, waffles, different kinds of bread. And we're also going to compare it to a regular toaster. We're going to see the Sonic Toaster is in fact faster than the regular toaster. So we're going to put this through a series of tests. This is going to be a very uh, complex review of sorts. I don't really actually review things in too much detail. But this might be one of those videos where I actually do that. So very excited for this video. I can't really remember how much this was. Maybe like 50 bucks. Is that expensive for a toaster? I I'm not really sure. Some toasters can be that much, I think. But uh, maybe maybe on the higher end for the cost of a toaster. I feel like most toasters are cheaper than 50 bucks. So I mean, I kind of have high expectations for this. Uh, of course, you can see on the box, uh, it makes, I think the main gimmick for this thing is that it makes toast with Sonic's face on it. I think that's the main, I think that's kind of the main point of this. I'm not sure how well it actually makes toast besides the fact that, you know, it just puts Sonic's face on it. But yeah, we can take a look at the box. Gotta toast fast. This is definitely one of Sega's more meme type of products. Uh, on the side over here, it says, are you tired of the same old toast? Do you find yourself constantly on the go and need a quick breakfast before you head out to collect those rings? Well, do we have the toaster? For you. Hey you, yes you, with the face reading this note. You know what? You're pretty great. You're one of the chosen few who helped me make this toaster a reality. Without you, we'd be forever doomed to the same boring, generic, crispy bread. So from all of us at Sega, here's a toast to you. Thank you for making our fans' dreams come true. Toaster model CT-912G. Warning, to prevent electric shock, unplug before cleaning, household use only. Do not immerse in water well we all know that sonic doesn't do well in water so i mean i imagine no one would probably put this toaster in water anyway it's because sonic can't swim okay let's open this i have never opened this until just now looks like you got a little two oh okay for those curious this does two slices of toast encased in styrofoam very nice very nice I really have no idea uh, what what standard or what tier of quality this product is going to be. I, I have no idea. It's Sonic, so I mean, my, my expectations should be fairly high, right? I mean, we can take a quick look at the toaster itself. There you go, you got Sonic's face on it. This is the side, you got a couple different uh, buttons. Not much to look at on the bottom. It does have Sonic's face on both sides of the toaster. Cord length is, I think it's pretty standard. Most toasters have cord length of about this much. You're not really ever gonna put these too far away from an outlet, so they don't, cords don't need to be very long. The inside of the toaster is kind of interesting. I can see how they put Sonic's face on the toaster. I don't know how well you guys can see that. 
can ki you can kind of see it. You can kind of see it. it. Looks like this does come equipped with a crumb tray. I think the first thing we're gonna do is just see if it works. So we're gonna put a piece. I just want to see it in action before we compare it, put it through any sort of test. I just want to see the thing working first. Um, in fact, actually, I think we'll put we'll put one of each of these things in here and just see how it turns out. We'll just try that. We'll start with the white bread because that's kind of what they show in the box. I think that's mostly what this is intended for is white bread. I'm going to set the dial to four about halfway. I think that's probably going to yield the best results. Oh, there we go. Sonic toast is done. Okay, this toast is very hot, but uh, yeah, there's uh, Sonic's face on there. That is definitely Sonic's face. It's not in the greatest detail. It's let's take a look at the other one. Is the other one better? The other one's a little better. It's a little faint. I thought that it was really only going to toast the center and the rest would be kind of like untoasted, but it does toast the other side fairly well. Let's try some wheat bread. And I think for this one, I'm going to turn up the toast setting. I'm actually going to, should I turn up all the way to seven? Uh, why not? There we go. Look at that. You can see Sonic's face a bit easier now, now that it's a darker color. However, I'm not sure it's probably going to taste as good. Yep, that's burnt. What about the other one? Oh, look at that. Sonic is kind of more towards the bottom of that one. I think we're going to dial it back down to like five. I'm going to put a waffle in one side. And I think we're going to put strawberry unfrosted Pop-Tart in the other side. We're going to see how they turn out. Didn't work so good on the waffles. Uh, that doesn't look like Sonic whatsoever, as you can tell. Nothing. Uh, pretty much worthless. Neither, neither side. It even kind of like burnt the Pop-Tart a little bit. Works well on bread. Not so much on other things, apparently. We're going to take a closer look as far as how fast this can toast compared to my normal toaster that I've been using up until now. My personal toaster is a little bigger. I think for testing purposes, I mean, this is going to work just as well as any other toaster you can buy at the store. I don't think this was like insanely expensive compared to, you know, your other average style toasters. So I think this will be a good one to kind of use uh, against the Sonic toaster. Make sure they go down at the exact same time. Three, two, one. Oh my God! Oh, so close. That was so close, like seconds, seconds apart. I didn't stop the timer. What was it like 2.30-ish? 2, 2.35-ish? Two, I'll have to look at the footage to get the exact time. I'll put the exact time for each toaster somewhere down here. They were very close though. So close that I really think you could go with either of these toasters and probably still be happy. And uh, maybe this one is still the better one to go with. Perhaps the fact that it's even slightly slower because you get Sonic's face on it. I mean, it is softer in the areas around Sonic's face. So if you want a more complete toasted toast, maybe you actually do want to go with the regular toaster. I mean, this did cook much more evenly than this one. So there's your little comparison there. I don't know. You can, guys can kind of choose whichever one you want. I think I'm going to do one more test on the highest setting. I'm going to put them each two setting seven and see if that makes any sort of difference it might not but i think we're going to try for it anyway uh for and just to see which one can do a more complete toasting on the highest setting faster all right setting number seven toast off number two three two one Toaster, out toasted the normal toaster. 
incredible. And by a large amount of time too, holy cow. You got some very different results there. I mean, still the two weren't far apart in time, but the Sonic Toaster did toast faster this time. And look at that. There we got the Sonic Toast and all its toasty glory. <laughs> did we ever do a white bread on the max setting? I don't think we did. So that's what that looks like. And uh, this looks okay from this side, but on this side, it, it, it burnt it a little bit. It burnt it a little bit. And uh, this one did take longer. So we did get some mixed results here. We got the Sonic Toaster beating out the regular toaster on the highest toaster setting. But then on the medium toaster setting, this one was about slightly faster than the Sonic Toaster, but only by a few seconds. I used up quite a bit of bread in the making of this video, but uh, I think it was worth it for you guys. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like on it. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. We do lots of silly and wacky things like this and other videos here on the channel. Um, yeah, that about concludes this video. Uh, I had fun making this video, interesting results, and uh, I'll catch you guys next time. Until then, go fast.